Alright Ross, thanks for joining us. Um, so today we've announced that you will revert back to your position as assistant coach at Leighton Orient uh, upon the appointment of a new manager. Um, do, you, do you want to just tell us a bit about the reasons why you've chosen to make that decision? I think first and foremost, um, people reading and watching and listening to this would say that it's a, uh, a sensible decision in terms of the fact that the results haven't gone, gone to plan. Um, I think that at times there's been some good performances in uh, in, the, in, the, in the start to the season that we've had, but our, our results ultimately for for the good or for the bad haven't haven't reflected those those performances. And, and at times, let's say, whether we feel like we deserve a little bit more than we've got at times, the, the realism of it all is that um, it hasn't happened. So I think um, it's the most sensible decision for everybody. I think from a personal perspective. Um, after what happened over the summer and the situation that everybody found themselves in at the club, um, I felt that it was the right thing for me to do to, to step forward and, and try to take the responsibility of, if I go back to sort of probably the first interview you and I had done together, it was on the terms of trying to find stability for the football club again. Um, have we achieved that? I think we we have, and I think we've now found ourselves into the season, and everybody comes to work with a full process of of you know football and and, and their day to day jobs being at the forefront of, of what we do. Um, so I feel as though we've achieved that that stability now, and certainly because of because of the way that the start of the season has gone, and the, and and the fact that I review what I do and how I, how I work. Um, I think that leads to, to this being a very sensible decision that the club start to look towards trying to find a new manager. And um, you touched upon it in in that answer there about how sort of well obviously you know results come into uh, sort of the review of your job, um, but it's you know you, the wider context of your job this summer was to help lead the club through a transition following the tragic passing of our head coach Justin, um, and. You know that must have been a particularly challenging task. Yeah, it has to has been, and, and it has been till uh, you know up until today, and I'm sure it will continue to be a massive part of of where we go at this club and beyond. Because you know Justin's um, memory needs to be kept at, at the front of every you know everything and what what this club has been about because he had such an impact on everybody. But that's something that I am um, you know most proud of, and something that was always my main focus was to help the players and the staff. Um, try to get through that real tough period that we've got through and I think like I say, we, we've tried to find some, some normality in the way that we come to work every day and we've started to find that so that's been my proudest thing. I think the biggest thing for me despite all the support and um, supporters, people at the club, the board, the players, um, the rest of the staff, no one's ever been able to tell me exactly what the right way to go about the job has been. Um, did I ever think I was a manager? Potentially not. I think there's probably people sitting here listening to our conversation today that will say that, well, if results had gone all right, you might have changed your mind. Yeah, potentially, we have to look at it like that. But um, I've never sat here and said, I'm going to be the next Leighton Orient manager. I was extremely proud and privileged and, and, and know that you know it's a, it was a fantastic sort of personal feeling of mine to have been responsible and in charge of, of the club over recent times. But like I say, at the front of my, my mind always was to try to gain that, that stability. And I think... I think that we've, we've slowly started to do that, albeit we are, we've underachieved at the same time in terms of the results that we've got. And just to highlight a, a couple of people, obviously Danny, Danny Webb and Joey McEnough have made the step up uh, alongside you this summer and would have been uh, key support in, in helping that transition go, go about. Massively, massively. I think and that's a collective that's gone right across the club is that everybody's stepped up into probably positions and and roles that potentially they wouldn't have done if, if circumstances had been different. But I think Danny and Joby's support for me uh, on a personal level has been fantastic. Um, I think we've all found ourselves in jobs and in roles that um, we were learning on the job a little bit. Um, and it was it was a, a strange environment for us to be in at times, to, to, you know, to be the three people that were leading it. But the support that they've both given me has been fantastic. And I don't think that changes now. I think <clears throat> with the fact that we'll go back into the positions we were in. It still helps 
that you know Joby's at the stage of his career that he is at, and we hope to see him back out on the pitch soon, which will be his focus and priority. But at the same time, we can continue to help him de develop as a coach by working with the players and working with the young players that we have within the squad. So I don't think that changes for Joby on a huge, huge basis. I mean, what what happens for for Danny and I now is we go back into jobs that we feel we're qualified, we're experienced, we're we're far more personally, from my perspective, capable of, of doing. And I think after the experiences that we've all been through across the summer and at the start of the season, we'll go back into those roles as, as better members of staff and that when that manager finally is appointed and, and brought into the club, he'll have a team of staff around him that have, have experienced something that I don't think anybody else can ever really say that they've had to do. And I suppose the one thing we can say about the on-field performances is that you know, it's not come through for a lack of effort. The players have, have you know, worked their socks off, in, particularly in you know recent weeks. And um, I suppose, how confident are you that you know when the right man is appointed, that you know they can they can take this group of players and, and achieve good things with them? I think very is the answer. Um, I look at our performances, and, and that's something that I've always done when we when we were successful last year. The way that I went about my job day to day was to analyse how we were performing, how individuals were performing and what was going to help us continue to evolve and be successful. So that's always been something that, that I try to do and try to sometimes eliminate the result from it to see what things are good, bad and indifferent that are going to help us to, to progress. And that, that's just my personal way of, of looking at it and when I do that I see a lot of positive, I see a lot of... Um, a lot, a lot of good standing in games and being very, very close to, to getting more than, than we, we deserve, if you want to say that, but you know that what we feel we can, we can get out of games. And I think that the group are very, very close. I think what the group needs now is someone with um, a manager's eye on what, what we do next. And, I, and I, I, that's not the way that I go about my job, and that's something that I've clearly learned about myself, is that perhaps... So managers, people with that real sort of outlook on, on that job and, and, and being part of the game in that way is that they can drive the group in a different way that, that I feel that I can. Mine is very much more about how I coach and the message that I deliver and I feel that someone that coming in with that real desire to be a manager can help to drive this group and get them over the line on those small details because I do think it is that and I think that you know despite the fact that we haven't got the results that everybody would have wanted I think everyone has to be honest and say that it hasn't been you know, very rarely this season have we been walked all over. Very rarely can we say we stepped up a level and that's, that's found us out today. I would say that the Swindon uh, game at home in the first half was probably the only time when I can really say that yeah we, we, we were beaten by a far, far better team today. You know, Even though negative performance in the first half this weekend that meant we went 2-0 down, it was a poor performance on our part, there was poor elements of our game that didn't help us and allow us to be in, in the game when it came to, to half time and give us more of an opportunity of winning those games. So I don't think we're, we're too far off of, of turning things around. I think what it does need now is it's someone to sort of try to lead us in that direction.